What is up, YouTube? Four Leaf Cards here. Hey, we're Dime Box Diving today. Thanks so much for clicking, and we are just going to hop right in. Got these all in my LCS. Nice aficionado Barry Bonds. We got the uh, Stadium Club with the Rays. This kind of blue is kind of... If you guys have never seen that, I don't know if you can see it or not very well doing this, but it's raised up there. Nice picture. Just Stadium Club's just top of the line on pictures. Anyway, uh, Don Russ, Barry Bonds, little high five there. Barry Bonds with Kim. Uh, Roger Clemens, uh, Circa 97. I figured I'd pick that up. How can you pass these up for such a good price? And then I got into a little streak. Somebody must have just brought in a bunch of these Obacks uh, from TriStar. And, uh, you know, some have little stories in the back and whatnot. So, uh, I got uh, George Bush. We got Big Poison. We got Will the Thrill. Uh, Welch. And I think, like, some of these are, like, uh, pitcher and outfielder. Became baseball's first pinch hitter when he hit for Hank O'Day on August of 1889. Uh, so, he was the first pinch hitter. Here's Wheaton. So, this is... Uh, the Knickerbockers Baseball Club. In the 40s and 1840s and 1850s, the Knickerbocker Club was one of the first baseball teams, and William Rufus Wheaton is considered to be one of the founders of the game. He, along with three other men, wrote down the first baseball rules. So, a little bit of history there. So, this is the first African American player. So, Walker. Walker. Fleetwood. Moses Fleetwood Walker. Here's uh, Pierce, the inventor of the bunt. He's a middle infielder during the 1870s. Is recognized as creator of the bunt. It's pretty cool. Dickie Pierce. Allison. This guy, guy's the first guy that used uh, gloves. I think he just used, what do you say, buckskin mittens to protect his hands in 1870. So pretty cool. We're having a little history lesson here today. Uh, Montgomery. He was the last guy to use the bat, the batting helmet, right? Yeah, Bob was one of the many who chose not to wear a helmet. Played his last game on September 9th, 1979, hitting a single in two at-bats. So that was the last guy to not wear a batting helmet. Andre Dawson, Andre Dawson intentional walks. Andre's five intentional walks in one game, a 16-inning marathon that puts him atop the record books. Pop Lloyd, uh, I don't know if you guys watch my channel, you know I love Pop Lloyd. I'm um, looking forward to getting down to Atlantic City for the National. Um, he, that's where he was, so he's got a field named after him down there. Uh, this is Carl Hubble, Hubble, right? Yep, Carl Hubble, first retired number. This is Josh Gibson, right? Slugged up to 800 home runs and hit for an estimated 350 batting average. Gibson. There's Big Poison again. I think I got some doubles here. That, I mean, they're, t you know, 10 cent box, right? So, Bush. McGreevy. Enough said. An owner of Boston's first sports bar near Fenway. Uh, the Royal Rooters. Loyal Boston fans were very vocal when supporting the team. Mike was known as Enough Said as he always called upon to end a dispute about either of the Boston baseball clubs. So there you go. Enough said. Will the Thrill uh, picked up the Sanchez. These were in like uh, 2011, so I think that's a Sanchez early card maybe. And minor league outfielder playing for the Indians. Pick that up. Somebody might be seeing that. Someday in the future. But anyway, there you go. A little uh, dime box adventure uh, with a little bit of history today. So that was kind of cool. Just some quick one, quick uh, history there on these Obacks. I thought they were pretty neat. So there you go. Maybe I should try to get that set. But anyway, uh, appreciate you guys watching. And as always, uh, if you guys are open anything, best of luck to you. Don't forget to collect to connect and have an awesome day.